first text in. Dr. Lurie, once you recover, can you be reinfected? This is a, a hot debate on social media. You know, I, I don't think so, and I'll explain why I don't think you can get reinfected. Typically with a viral infection, what happens is the virus gets into your body. Individual viruses get into your cells, take over the machinery of your cells, the DNA, for one purpose, which is to make new viruses. And then your cell lyses, and those viruses go out and do the same thing. Now, your body responds, your immune system, by creating antibodies. Mm -hmm that latch onto the virus and then destroy it. And so as the virus kind of starts, your antibodies build up and kind of destroy the virus. So forever thereafter, you've got this army of soldiers that's specifically ready for this virus. So to me, if you got, let's say you, you get exposed, then you develop immunity, meaning you've got antibodies, your immune system knows coronavirus, you get exposed again, your, your immune system, those antibodies are going to attack the virus mm -hmm. and kill it in a way where you're really not going to feel symptomatic. Now, there are these suggestions that doctors, nurses, people on the front, front line, they may be experiencing a viral load, so repeated exposures of the virus. That may overactivate your immune system. Mm -hmm. That may lead to some other problems. But it isn't going to make you clinically ill from coronavirus where the virus is overtaking your I, That doesn't make sense to me. I, okay. I think... I think you get it, you clear it, and then you're immune. Like the flu mutates every year, we don't know if there's going to be another a mutation of the virus that then in a year or two down the road, you could get reinfected with a different kind of coronavirus. Right. That it seems more possible to me than getting reinfected with the same virus. That just doesn't make sense from basic right. if it's a different, Yeah, if it's a different form of coronavirus, then you have to probably go through this all over again. What's the reason, next text coming in, what's the reason people are dying from this? Is it the pneumonia? What, what, what's triggering the fatalities? The main way that people die of coronavirus is in the lungs. It's a condition called ARDS, or A-R-D-S. It stands for Acute Respiratory Distress Syndrome. syndrome. I think of it real basically as, you know, what do the lungs do? They get oxygen from air and they get that into your blood. When coronavirus affects your lungs, you're no longer able to get enough oxygen into your blood. So we have to give oxygen by a mask, ultimately intubate somebody. When, it, when corona advances too far, ultimately one of the ways is that you're not even able to get enough oxygen when you're on a ventilator mm. to get it into your blood and so it's a form of respiratory or lung failure there's other ways that people also you know once you get super sick you can have other organs mm -hmm. that fail i want to say 20 percent okay. uh, of serious cases also involve the heart so there can be virus affecting the heart right. causing heart failure but mainly it's it's a respiratory failure